Somebody got stupid. You feel me? And ran into some bullshit and ran into a house and tried to kill Gucci and Gucci just got out of there with his life. He's a murder suspect and uh, I'm his lawyer and I'm not going to let him say anything. He visited a young lady, um, went over to her place. Um, she was there, he was there. At one point she opened up a door. Five guys come running in. One of the other five guys yelled, shoot him, something to that effect. He grabbed a gun that was nearby and he started yelling. dollar bounty put on my neck. I hope you didn't pay them because they didn't have no success. First and foremost, I would like to thank my legal counsel, Dwight Thomas and Michael Holmes, for the excellent representation. Meaning you. He said he nobody said would ever sucker thing. punch Gucci. He nah, said nobody would sucker punch Gucci. He said, <laughs> if somebody ever tried to punch, sucker punch, he said he'd die for Gucci. Man, Walker, I know he would. Kill somebody for me. He crazy for me. No, he crazy. I don't even mess with me because of why. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't lying. You know what I'm saying? It, 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 it. From seventeen, he just stuck with me. Mm -hmm. He wasn't even rapping. He was just really just watching my back for mm -hmm. years. Mm -hmm. Then I went to jail and I came out. He started rapping. I didn't even know he knew how to rap. Like that, my number one goon is rapping now. My that shooter rapping. My number one shooter. <laughs> rapping. Hey man, it's Big Gucci. What's happening? I make music. I make money. I make enemies. But my fans made me the trap guard. Even though I'm locked up, I still run the street from jail. Screw up, color y'all. But you know, he came up as a boss too. Like he came in as your artist, yeah, but now he's yeah. like his own boss. He, boss butt heads? he been a boss from day one. We bump heads we just about to fight all the day. Well, I was gonna get into it. <laughs> fight about what? What are you and Walk about to fight about? <laughs> oh, he taped me and I was asleep. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Alright, well they're coming back here to do it. No, the dude over here, the dude that was sitting right here, he said he, I got something I need to see him by a certain time. What the hell do that then? Yeah. What do go out and go back on the air right now? Oh, what the hell? What the hell was that? Oh, I definitely don't cut I never wanted to hustle for help, but it just run a rapping so hard in my neighborhood. You know, so much money mm -hmm. and temptation. Mm -hmm. So um, Compete with all the people, friends, peer pressure. Not peer pressure to do it, but if they do it, I, and I always say that like a lot of guys who I be with, the people who I didn't like, mm -hmm. they were doing they weren't smart with it. I saw opportunity yeah. and what they was doing, that I could do it better and really make some money. What was the difference between them and you? I would save my money. Really? And they would spend their house. About the situation, because you and Jeezy had a well documented beef, I mean, bodies were I caught. Ain't nobody with... finna do nothing to Gucci, period. Never. Never. It, then, and not nothing happened. That's what I thought was crazy. That you he would approach Ross, but I ain't never heard about him approaching. I ain't really Gooch. nobody to mush me, push me, talk to me in the kind of way I ain't finna go for it. How does motherfucker stay fresh, man? You gotta keep some money in your pocket, man, and then you gotta have a little swag. Can, some it, money can't buy flavor. Is it is it hard is it hard to be fresh if you don't have money or can you still pull it off? See when I ain't had no money, I still had sauce. Mm -hmm. See if you don't got no sauce then you, 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 you're lost, mm -hmm. but you also get lost in the sauce. You're that young and you weren't buying clothes, um, mm -hmm. getting cars, getting hotel rooms. I got caught six to seven about a uh, bags of crack. I paid my own lawyer, bought my own stuff out of jail. I moved out the house because she didn't want me there. Uh, from that point on, I was on my own. And it, things should be business, never personal, anyway. Yeah. You know. you know, sometimes, you know, business is a person, it's a thin line, so it gonna cross sometimes. You know, sometimes even with me, you know, it's all business with me, but mm -hmm. I ain't gonna let nobody disrespect me, period. Mm -hmm. Can you be born with sauce or do you or do you acquire no, sauce? You, born with you, sauce? You get you get sauce you get sauce from how you gonna be born with seasoning? You gotta get seasoned. I wasn't born with all this sauce. Hell yeah. I had to acquire this sauce. I had uh, I do a lot of things in the neighborhood and at one time I had stole stuff, somebody like had a robbery. And I rapped about the robbery. And it was like well publicized. It was not no beef, but that right, I had done right. it. So I, I said it. I said it on the on the wax. And, and so everybody that already heard about that incident. They, they, that that blowed me up ASAP. Just about this neighborhood. On some reality rap. I was, like, I was, I was, I was a legend then. And that fame, I just kept, I ain't want to never lose it since that day. You probably a girl I used to talk to. You know how Somebody women scorn. <laughs> scorn women in my past that right. I moved on. 
They ain't got nothing good to say about no guy they mess with. Oh. Well, they have Very true. That, you don't think she kicking herself in the, in the, in the butt that she ain't <laughs> talking to Gucci no more? I don't back out with all this money. <laughs> all right, I feel you. See what I'm saying? <laughs> all this stuff she could have had, all these red bottles and the seven she could have had. He might not be able to say it, but I'm going to say it, all right? The man got some, uh, are they murder charges or attempted murder charges? Murder charges. Murder charges, straight up. Okay, uh, can you talk about what's going on with that? No, little shit, small shit to a giant, and then I can't, you know what I'm saying, get over. Okay. You know what I mean, or whatever, but shit happens. Okay. No, that's great there. You look even younger than you used to before for some I'm reason. Get, I'm getting younger, baby. This mind is just it doing something to me. <laughs> I be rubbing it on my skin, my hair. <laughs> <laughs> a nigga on two major labels, you know what I'm saying? I'm on no level label. You feel me? The guy now be beefing with me. Just taking the time out of his career to make ruckus about me. And you got an obligation to fulfill Boys in the Hood album, a Del Jam album, and you doing several mixed tapes. Now you you still have managed to make the time. Go to the studio to record a song about me. So every day I'm doing something right. You feel what I'm saying? Cause I ain't got no deal. You know what I'm saying? I got Jacob on, you know what I'm saying? $50,000 chain. I ride a five whip. I got a five car. You know what I'm saying? I got a bad bitch. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> what more can you ask for? Right. And I ain't even so, you know what I'm saying? This is my first week, dog. I ain't got no check. You feel me? I came in the game with money, and I'm gonna leave the game with money. But the last thing that we heard from Gucci was you allegedly threw a girl out of a car, uh, I guess down in Atlanta. What happened with that case? Hey, man, you think I'm going to talk about that? I'm just asking. <laughs> I'm just saying. I, mean, I got to ask just, everything. I'm just asking you. Yeah, I mean, we ask everything. We've seen it on well, news. Well, I don't want to talk about that. Okay. That's, that's, that's an open case. Everything's cool, man. You know what I'm saying? I've been beefing with niggas in the hood all my life. You know what I'm saying? But it's like one of the weakest niggas I've ever beefed with. Mm. So it really ain't no problem. All right. That nigga there, who, who's to say what he going to do? Because the nigga's so suspect. Mm. The nigga shaking like an earthquake. You think you and Jesus could ever be friends? Never. So when y'all see each other, it's just like... It's just, you know, respect. Walk over here, go be some problem. Mm. I ain't no... Anybody. Wait. I mean, if he, if he say... I don't really know where he's from. I nigga definitely ain't from Atlanta. But if he from where, you know what I'm saying, do what he say he do, right. he may be experienced the same thing that I have actually experienced from what he said this route. Because I've actually done it. And people can actually verify that. You see what I'm saying? But you and GZR are Atlanta legends, though. It would be good to I'm see I'm a legend later. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say it. I ain't nobody a legend. You see somebody kill me, you think I'm gonna call you a legend? Mm. Now you guys respectfully ignore each other. I don't got no respect for him. I just, you know what I'm saying? Ignore. I did what I had to do. Mm -hmm. What song was it I heard where you was talking about white girls on there? It's like you really into white, white girl. girls now. White girl. Nubian white queens. <clears throat> no, it's called a song called White Girl, but I actually was referring about the white girl, right. mm -hmm. which fight last the Gucci band. <laughs> <laughs> you know I'm just getting Gucci about. from the time I heard Gucci uh, really busted that gun. Hey man, gonna do it again so I run up on me the wrong way. And I don't want no problem. <laughs> <laughs> you no part of that? First time I got arrested, I was 18. I got called like, I know I had like 80, 90 bags of crack on me. So I called my like, what well, locked up? She's like, what you locked up for? I said, locked up for crack out, uh, cocaine, controlled substance. I said some shit like that. Uh -huh. like, you tried to give her, yeah. give it like, a technical what title? For? I said, I don't know, I just stand on the bus stop. I was going to a job interview. She said, I told you about hanging on that bus stop. I said, oh, no, I'm just trying to, trying to get a job, bro. Hey, man. Come on, who gonna say something to Gucci? <laughs> y'all scared to talk to me now. Look how y'all on pills and needles. <laughs> now we know. <laughs> Oh, no, I'm sorry. We know we ask you anything. anything. No, hold on. No, you wanna... did shut Envy down early, though. I'll ask him anything. Anything I'll ask you, you can shut shut it down. all DJs down. You know I don't play. <laughs> play with. It's just mm -hmm. some people you don't play with. I Even Charlemagne nervous. Hey, listen, I don't listen. Ooh, why, you I respect you the screen. I know, you know I do have a question in my you head. You been but scared I... of me sitting lip service. Why are you playing so like No, that? I definitely wasn't scared of you on lip service. Why are you been scared of me? You know but that. That's Gucci. That's what Gucci does. Gucci calls people out. He's been doing it in his rap for years. Same dude that killed one of Jeezy's homeboys, then said in the diss record, go dig your partner up. I bet you he won't say shit. <laughs> like Gucci is crazy.